Hey, 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 everybody. It's Stephanie Stevens here from Pronoun TV and the Stephanie Stevens Show. Tonight on my game show and my um, trivia show, How Smart Are You? It's a game show. I'm going to engage you guys tonight as I just finished on TikTok, so now I'm going to do Facebook and then on to YouTube. So they're asking me to make sure that I engage you a little bit more as we are busy putting together the 80s um, show, um, our Broadway show and documentary. So thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. Thank you all you fabulous people out there taking part in my reality show. Thank you and to my um, supporters out there for just hanging in because I know you guys are waiting for me to get back to the stage. It's coming very shortly, but we're working on the documentary right now. That's really important. And um, But I will see you guys on the stage in November. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to start our game show off tonight and our trivia show off tonight with, like I said, a uh, a collection of 80s memorabilia and we're gonna start with one of our most fabulous singers and we miss her she's passed on now she had such hits as how will I know um, so the greatest love of all I will always love you anybody know who this woman is anybody know who this woman is anybody know who this woman is anybody know who this fabulous singer I learned from the best the greatest love of Anybody know who this woman is? That's right. This is the incredible Miss Whitney Houston. Thank you for all the love and all of the thumbs ups and the likes. Thank you. I see you. Thank you. All right. This is Miss Whitney Houston. Miss Whitney Houston from the 80s. We used to dance up a storm to all of her songs. Um, How will I know? Oh, yes. Y'all remember that? Oh, my God. I still do that in my shows. I still do that in my shows. Our next singer is part of the Chicago native. She's a Chicago native. She can scat like nobody else can scat. And she's fabulous. fabulous. She has sung a lot of drag queens do. Or impersonators. I'll just say drag artist. How is that? Um, do. And it's called Old Friends. And she was very beautiful. And she could scat and go up that scale. Anybody know who this woman is? Anybody know who this Chicago native is that could just scat and go up that scale? Do 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 Blackbird, Blackbird, Blackbird. Fabulous. Miss Phyllis Hyman. Miss Phyllis Hyman. We love us and Miss Phyllis Hyman. Beautiful to look at. Look at this woman. Look how incredible. And this picture is like something in time. I just loved it. When I saw it, I thought, I got to use this picture because it's like, it's just a beautiful moment in time. Our next celebrity is Supreme, the queen of Supreme. She had lots and lots of hits. I will survive upside down. You're turning me. I'm coming out. Um, and just so many others. And she's here with her daughter from the um, show Blackish. Anybody know who this woman is? Anybody know who this woman and her daughter is? Anybody know who that is? That's right. This is Miss Tracy Ross and Miss Diana Ross. Her mother, the famous. Oh, we love us, Miss Diana Ross. I'm coming out. Yes, I've been out a long time, and most of y'all have too. Y'all just was pretending, but we forgive you. Mm, you're out now, though. Yes, and I see you. <laughs> hey, hello. Y'all remember San Francisco back in the days when we used to snort poppers and go behind that black curtain? Mm, don't act like y'all didn't go behind that black curtain. Because I know some of y'all was behind that black curtain. I'm going to tell on you if you don't act like, mm -hmm, I know, I remember y'all at the Trocadero in San Francisco behind the black curtain. That's right. This is Miss Diana Ross and her daughter, Tracy Ross. Fabulous. Our next singer is looking for a new love. She had many hits and many videos, and we used to dance up a storm to her songs. And I've seen lots and lots of entertainers uh, do her song, Looking for a New Love. Anybody know who this woman is? Anybody know who this woman is? Anybody know who? She's very beautiful. I don't know if she's doing anything these days. I did see her on television um, talking. I think it was just for an interview, but I don't think she's doing much these days. But looking for a new love. This is Miss Jody Watley, y'all. Miss Jody Watley, look at her. Oh, she was beautiful back there in the days. Walking down them steps with that big tool poodle skirt on. Oh, yes, get it, girl. Our next celebrity is in control. She's in control. She was part of one of the most 
the biggest music family of brothers, she and well, a couple of sisters she, they threw in there, uh, they didn't really go on to do much. One tried to do something, but was more controversial. But she came out as a star and in control. Anybody know who this woman is? Anybody know who this woman is? She's fabulous. She's been in a lot of Tyler Perry's movies, and she's also, she's, she, oh my God, I impersonate her all the time. A lot, I do a lot of her music. That's the way love goes. Oh, y'all remember that? Y'all know we used to make love to that song and, and just rock to it. We couldn't wait to grind in the club with our little piece of hopeful trade. Mm -hmm. That's right, this is Miss Janet Jackson, y'all. Miss Janet Jackson, our next celebrity is the Queen of Vogue. She helped, you know, Willie Ninja and a lot of them back in the days with the ball scene. They taught her all about the ball scene. And she brought this famous song called Voguing to the big screen. Anybody know who this woman is? And she's doing fabulous now. She's doing real fabulous right now. I tell a lot of the people, you know, the celebrities, you guys should follow this woman. I know y'all think she's acting strange because she's got a little boy toy on the side and she's acting strange, but she knows how to keep that check coming in. This woman is very smart and very influential and we love us some Madonna. Papa, don't preach. Mm, that sounded like something I was doing a minute ago. But anyway, <laughs> this is Madonna, y'all, and she is fabulous. We love us some Madonna. Papa, don't preach. Mm, she got her little boy toy. I need to get me one. Ain't nothing wrong with having a little boy toy. Our next celebrity is stirring it up everywhere. She's got pies and cakes and cookies all over Walmart. And now she has a new... Um, dessert out a peach cobbler mm, I haven't had it yet but I'm gonna try it soon as soon, soon as I get to Walmart I'm gonna get me some but she has the LGBT community and um, up out of their seats at her concert does anybody know who this fabulous big voice big everything coming at you just incredible this woman is fabulous she knows how to entertain like no other anybody know who this woman is anybody know who this woman is she has such songs as Over the Rainbow, Stir It Up, New Attitude, and um, Lady Marmalade, mm, Marmalade, mm, yes, get it, girl. Anybody know who this woman is? This is the incredible Miss Abhati Lovell. This is Miss Abhati Lovell. And we love her some Miss Patty LaBelle because she knows how to stir it up, honey. And I'm impersonating her, too, in my new 80s um, production. I'm working on it, y'all. Mm, step by step. By November, we'll be ready to go with the full production. Ooh, y'all going to be shocked. But anyway, I ain't going to tell too much because I know some of y'all out there are stealing ideas and waiting. Just waiting to see what I'm doing. Mm, our next singer is 9 to 5. 9 to 5. And she's looking for a woman named Jolene who stole her husband or tried to steal her husband. Anybody know who this woman is? Anybody know who this woman is? Anybody know who this woman is? That's right. This is Miss 9 to 5. She has a theme park somewhere there in Tennessee or Georgia. That's right. This is Miss Adali Parton. Miss Adali Parton. We love us and Miss Dolly Parton. Everything's big. Big hair, big boobs, big, mm, big voice, and we love that. She... This woman can sing like nobody else. And I love the fact that she's still going at her age. And she ain't afraid to just put it on. Put it on. I say put it all on there, uh, <laughs> Dolly. Put everything on. This is drag. Just put it on. A lot of people always say, I don't, I'm doing real girl drag. It's like, no, that, that's just the school that I come from. But when it comes time to really dress up and really put it all on, I know how to do that. Our next singer is from Thriller. He had the biggest hit in the world at one time. It was a horror song from um, Halloween, and it was called Thriller. Anybody know who this superstar is? He's passed on now. He's passed on now. He had such hits as Black and White. Um, oh, my God. How could I forget his song, Dirty Diana? Uh, and just so many that's right this is Mr. Michael Jackson Mr. Michael Jackson from Thriller we love Michael Jackson and we miss him and you know what I'm going to say this here and you guys might not like this but no, there, no there's no entertainers out there that have come along that are, can touch this man when it comes 
to perform it. And we miss him. A lot of these celebrities could use him as an influence, uh, learning how to do business, and also learning how to dance and perform and really be an all-around entertainer. This man did all of that. Today, the superstars don't do that. They're lucky they got that little techno machine thing there in Hollywood that makes them sound good because, oh, Lord, have mercy. This man could dance, sing, and do it all. And I take my wig off to him. I don't care what was being said about him and all this other stuff. I didn't believe a word of it. But anyway, that's my thoughts. And I'm not here to preach to y'all. I'm just here to sort of enlighten y'all about how I feel about certain things. And tonight is my 80s trivia night. Like I said, anybody know who this woman is? Anybody know this woman is? This Queen of Supreme. The Queen of Supreme. And she can dress. She's still doing her thing to these days, to this day. And ain't no mountain high enough. Mm -hmm. And she's always been the same size. Can you guys believe that? She's pretty much her entire career been the same size. Can you imagine still getting into a dress that you wore in 1960? Oh my God! I wish I could still get into anything from nineteen uh, from 2022, <laughs> early 2022. Cause I'm 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 not as I'm not I think I can get in a couple of things as long as they're stretching, you know that stretch fabric four way fabric y'all queens know what four way stretch fabric is don't be trying to pull it that's right this is the incredible Miss Bob Mackie dress this woman this is Miss Diana Ross Miss Diana Ross mm, I will survive and I'm coming out I've been out a long time. <laughs> And y'all know that. Our next singer is I'm Still Standing. He has a Yellow Brick Road Tour out coming out now. And he's done a lot for HIV and AIDS. And he's just an incredible all-around singer. Every now and then he throws a little temper tantrum. But we forgive him because he's done such a lot for a lot of us. So thank you. Anybody know who Mr. I'm Still Standing is? Anybody know who this this? full singer is. This is a full singer. He did it all for all of us. That's right. Mr. Elton John, y'all. He live in a castle, y'all. Elton John lives in a castle and a $30 million house in Beverly Hills. I'm trying to get to know Elton so I can go hang out. I've never been in a $30 million mansion. I hope some of you queens out there that are in Los Angeles take a tour of one of these celebrities' homes that are like 30 or 40, 50 million dollars. I like to see what a tennis court looks like, a basketball, a real swimming pool. I mean, I see it on cribs and stuff, but I want to see a queen that is trying to get to that point. I would like to see. I would like to do that. If y'all give me that opportunity to go into one of these celebrities' homes so I can see how incredible. These 30 million, 50 million dollar mansions are, oh, Madonna, I need to take a tour of your mansion, girl. Invite me down there. That's right, this is Mr. Elton John. Can you imagine living in a castle? And you got 120 rooms? Well, well, how, how do you know that nobody's living in the same house as you on the next floor? Our whole family could be living on the floor next to Anyway, that's Mr. Elton John, Mr. Elton John. Our next three celebrities, one is New York, New York, and the other one is an off-Broadway actress. She was in the movie Terms of Endearment, and this is Mr. I'll just tell you who he is, because you guys will never remember who this man is. This is Mr. Merv Griffin from the Merv Griffin Show, and this is Miss Liza Minnelli and Miss Shirley MacLaine. And she had lots and lots of hits that the girls do, um, um, Liza Minnelli. She's been a great influence in the LGBT two-spirit pronoun community, and we miss her. We miss her, but she's still here, but we miss her performing live on stage and all that stuff. But I'm sure she's up to something. Our next singer is a proud Mary. Proud Mary herself, and we love her. Anybody know who Miss Proud Mary is? And I do a lot of her songs in my shows. And this is Miss Proud Mary. Mm-hmm. Anybody know who this woman is? What's love got to do, got to do with it? I know y'all know who this woman is. That's right. This is Miss Tina Turner. 
Tina Turner. If you're just joining us here now, we're in the middle of my 80s trivia How game show. How smart are you? Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And I'm just here to engage you for a few minutes. I finished on TikTok. I had over 2,000 people watching and, 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 and doing the game on TikTok. This is where I spend so much time on there. As soon as I'm done here on Facebook, I'm off to YouTube to do the exact same game show. Our next singer, Last Dance, I Feel Love. And she works hard for the money. She was very controversial with the LGBT community at the end of her life, but she left us with a legacy of dance songs for us to dance to. And we forgave her and moved on, and we just keep right on dancing. That's right, this is Miss Donna Summers. Miss Donna Summers. Mm -hmm. Last dance. Mm -hmm. Our next singer is from. She had this. She was in the musical Dolly. And she also had many, many, many hits. Somewhere. Ooh, we just love her voice and all that. Anybody know who this woman is from Yento? Anybody know who this woman is from Yento? She was just doing a show with James Cohen in the karaoke. Um, the car karaoke. It's a fabulous woman. Her ticket was $1,000 to sit in the back row. Oh my God. <laughs> I would have been sitting in the kitchen. Okay. Well, anyway, this is Miss Barbara Streisand. She's got the girls sitting in the kitchen for $1,000. That's right. Miss uh, Barbara Streisand, somewhere out there. Yes, I'd be somewhere out there, probably in the back of the baseball field, if I had to pay for $1,000 for a ticket. Our next celebrity is the Round Mound of Sound, and she's just always looking for a man. She was in the movie Polyester. Anybody know who this woman is? Anybody know who this woman is? That's right. When she was a he, she was very quiet and reserved but when she put that wig on it came out and she was shaking it the round mound of sound this is miss divine nani miss divine she used to shake it down at the copa in fort lauderdale and we used to be dancing and sweating and carrying on we love her we miss miss divine oh, iconic iconic yes our next singer is shabbat Miss She Bop herself. I used to perform with her in Montreal for Gay Pride. Well, just one year. And we were doing the Bell Center. And she is just fabulous. And she wants you to show your true colors. We drank a whole bottle of wine together and went out there and tore the stage up. Oh, it was so much fun being around this woman. She was fabulous. and an Incredible lady. Incredible. That's right. This is Miss Cindy Lopper. And I got to perform with her in Montreal for Pride um, way back in the days. Her, Christine W., and a lot of other celebrities. The Funky Green Dogs. I got to meet all these celebrities back in the day. Oh, something else back in the days. Y'all just don't know the full story. But it's coming. Documentary. Mmm. We working on it, y'all. Anyway, this is Miss Cindy Lopper. Miss Cindy Lopper. She bop. Oh, we love her. And our next celebrity, like I said earlier in the show, and I found it rather strange that when this celebrity died, they showed her, I got to watch the funeral, and they showed her shoes in the coffin, and she had these red concerning high heel shoes on, and I thought, who buries somebody in red high heel shoes? A woman with this, with this kind of stature and this kind of, you know, celebrity, so you would think she would be more... I don't know. But anyway, she had red high heel shoes on. I don't know if y'all know who the Queen of Soul is. Y'all, Do y'all know who the Queen of Soul is? She has such songs as Think, Respect, and many others. Say a Little Prayer for You, Deeper Love. She sang with everybody, from Michael Jackson to the Arrhythmics, Annie Lennox and the Arrhythmics. She sang with, oh, just everybody. Dionne Murray, all of them. Flip Wilson. And she's the Queen of Soul. And she wants you to rock steady, baby. Rock steady, baby. Y'all remember that? Hey, Lord have mercy. That was such a great song. I tell you, this is Miss Aretha Franklin. Miss Aretha Franklin. We love us some Miss Aretha Franklin. I just thought it was very concerning when I saw the funeral. And they, she had red high heel shoes on. I didn't understand any of that. Our next celebrity is World of Wonder. World of Wonder. And she wants you to sashay away if she don't like what you're doing you can just sashay that way <laughs> and she's fabulous she's got it she started her own little thing and she's got the little children just expressing themselves anybody know who this woman is 
Anybody know who this woman is? It's got the little young children all over the internet putting wigs and makeup on and just being themselves. That's it. Mm -hmm. And if she don't like what you're doing, she wants you to uh, sashay away. <laughs> That's right. This is Miss Matt Cosmetics RuPaul. Miss RuPaul. Yes. She's got the children doing all kinds of things these days. <laughs> I don't understand any of their drag. But, you know, things have changed. Things have changed. And I'm learning how to adapt because I need to be working and doing my thing. And the little children that let me do that, mm, they invite me along for a couple of their little shows. I next singer. I used to dance up a storm to her at the Copa too. She had this song called Boogie Oogie Oogie Dancing Machine. Anybody know who this woman is? Anybody know who this woman is? That's right. This is the incredible Miss uh, Claude Jabari. Miss Claude Jabari. And she's, oh, she, this woman was very beautiful in person. You ever see her sing on the stage? She was very beautiful to look at. And she could, she sang the house down, Miss Claude Jabari. Yes, she did. She sang the house down. Our next singer say the best for last. She was the second, the first, the second. Hmm. I don't know which one it was. I think it was the second one. They're not talking about the first one. First, Black Miss America. And she had this song called Save the Best for Last. Anybody know who this beautiful uh, Miss America was? She was dethroned for taking her clothes off. She was dethroned for dropping something to the floor. She was dethroned. Uh, but we still love her because we're saving the best for last. Anybody know who this woman is? Anybody know who this woman is? That just couldn't keep her clothes on. Apparently, she was in a lesbian triangle somewhere on one of those penthouse Playboy magazines. Anybody know who this woman is? Who can't keep her clothes on. But we love her anyway because we're saving the best for last. That's right. This is Miss uh, Vanessa Williams, the first, second Miss Black America. I mean, Miss first black, first, second, one of them. Mm, Miss America, Miss America, yes. But at the end of the day, she won. She won through all of that foolishness and all of that. Our next movie, they had this song is, If You Could Read My Mind. Yes. Anybody know what movie this is? Anybody know what movie this is from? If You Could Read My Mind, that song was fabulous. And, oh, what a tale my thoughts would tell. If you could read my mind about this um, show tonight here on Facebook, my one on TikTok, but the one here on Facebook, because I haven't been on here in over a year, and I just popped in out of nowhere thinking, mm, y'all remember me, y'all were like, mm, that queen, what she's doing. Anyway, this is, speaking of queens, this is Priscilla, Queen of the Desert, if you could read my mind. I want to thank you guys so much for joining me here tonight on my game show, How Smart Are You Trivia. I'll be doing a couple of these pop-ins um, after I finish on TikTok. Now I'm on Facebook, next stop, YouTube. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Take care of yourselves. And of course, I will download this podcast here tonight and I will cut it up in clips and put it all over the internet for you to enjoy. So thank you for the support and hang tight and just do something. Good night y'all.